Hi, this is Shadi and today it's gonna be shoot boxing and judo. So I've done a video in the past about shooto, the wrestling style, but today it's gonna be shoot boxing. Shoot boxing derives from kickboxing and shooto wrestling. So you will see it in the gloves. But what I did find interesting about shoot boxing is the fact that it can allow us to go deeper into the stuff that we cannot or no longer go into judo wise because of safety reasons and also the evolution of the sport so keep it in mind that when people are flying all over the place and going down to the ground injuries to the joints are gonna happen so standing submissions are not really a thing in judo but in shuto you can win by a standing submission as you are seeing here the standing guillotine so what makes shuto i would say safe compared to judo when it comes to standing submission is the fact that there is no groundwork or newaza so you cannot grab hold of a submission an arm lock in particular and just go down to the ground leaving no room to tap so that alone makes it much safer uh, so you can really explore the standing submissions of grappling and also the fact that the gloves are somewhat limiting it can provide uh, a safety blanket for the athletes so here you see the legendary masahiko kimura demonstrating a standing hadaka jime or a naked choke so he gets it grips his arms as if doing an ude garami but puts his palm on the trap of his opponent and then grips his own wrist and from there with the bone of the forearm proceeds to put pressure on the neck choking his opponent so obviously this cannot be done uh, in today's judo but it is of the very rich technical heritage of judo uh, here you see a standing katagatame shoulder hold uh, which can be a strangle at the same time but his opponent uh, does kidney punches to open it up and then from there the takedown is uh, being done so the only thing that allows you to go to the ground is the takedown so you win by takedown points uh, and also the ko and of course the standing submission so here you see another standing submission the ude garami being done i would say sakuraba style caught from behind so here you see uh, Masahiko Kimura again being caught in a Kimura or Ude Garami uh, grips his own belt reaches in from the far with the far arm and from there applies a wrist lock on his opponent uh, tapping him out so um, wrist locks are also uh, allowed in shoot boxing but Again, with the gloves that they're wearing, it's very limited, so it's mainly on the elbow and the shoulder and, of course, the standing uh, strangles and chokes. But, again, the fact that you're not going into the ground and diving and uh, doing these throws and transitioning to Neiwaza like in Judo, it makes things far more safe, in my opinion, and you can really uh, explore them. Um, however... Uh, when the fight goes to the ground like after a throw uh, For example, the fight is reset So a lot of people tend to put their glove or their knee on the ground to reset it But that in and of itself is a penalty. So it's kind of like the false attack in Judo, so they are aware of it. So other uh, Examples of standing locks is of course your Ude Garami here being done and continue to the ground. So continuing it to the ground sometimes can result in injuries and that is why standing kansetsu in judo today is not allowed only in newaza now when it comes to wrist locks if it's when both fighters are on the ground in judo i'm not opposed to it so but in the stand-up of course it can be very dangerous especially when someone is trying to commit to their grip here you see a standing ude katame when i said it in my standing judo submissions is when someone is on both knees i have no problem just like the old rules now it has to be two elbows and two knees so they would be technically considered in newaza which is in my opinion a little bit of a stretch so here you see 
this one it used to be legal you can do it um, today you have to grip and then go down and then as you are both on the ground apply the submission for safety reasons but they can be a little bit of a stretch again when someone is on two knees in my opinion they're in newaza and i can grab the waki gatame or the ude gatame and that's just my opinion so here you see standing lock it's part of judo but in randori no more so here you see kosei inoue in his last tournament dragging Moneta down for a submission while he himself remains standing and that's really amazing and it can be played very safely so here you see Moneta rolled over trying to avoid it but the pressure was too high it ended up hurting him a little bit so let's see it here one more time so he grips it he to avoid the pressure and the pin at the same time he rolls fully through laying on his stomach so when it comes to the throws of shoot boxing they're mainly headlock oriented again because of the gloves so you're gonna see a lot of koshi guruma uh, ogoshi harai goshi and you're gonna see uranage with the clinch and here a skuinage brilliantly done so or a scooping throw so uh, that, that's the thing that i truly appreciated about um, shoot boxing is when one thing is prohibited another thing can be explored and being and be i would say mastered kind of like greco-roman wrestling you cannot grab the legs you cannot even attack with your legs and so the upper body takedowns were mastered fully and beautifully greco-roman wrestling has some of the most beautiful and most picturesque throws that you could ever see in my opinion and that's solely uh, because of the no leg grab rules and they got very creative in the upper body and here in shoot boxing with the gloves limiting the gripping and also there's no newaza the standing submissions are being done not only safely but they can be done from every position just like you saw he was gripping him from behind and got the ude garami much like sakuraba so it's very interesting to see such a discipline and also for self-defense reasons staying upright and not too much hunched over it's great if you want to be a good striker and also get your clinch and your takedown so having a wrestling stance is not really optimal because it's derived from kickboxing and shooto so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content only i post there once a week but my main content will always be on the channel here so this was Shadi and thank you for listening.